today we are going to be talking about the perimeter of square, rectangle, triangle, and parallelogram. The first thing we are going to be talking about is a square. The formula of square is P equals 4 times A. For our first example, one of our sides is going to be 4 inches. The way I like to solve this problem is by rewriting the formula. P equals 4A. We are going to be plugging in the 4 inches where the A is. So 4 times 4 inches equals 16 inches. Another way I'd like to solve is you could add all your sides up. So all your sides will equal 4 because it has the same measurement as these. So 4, 4, and 4 inches. So 4 inches plus 4 inches plus 4 inches and Four inches plus four inches equals eight inches. Four inches plus four inches equals eight inches. You add eight inches plus eight inches and you get sixteen inches. That's your final answer. Another example that we are going to be doing today is one of our sides is going to be six centimeters. So the same thing we did in problem number one, we, we rewrite our formula, P equals 4 times 6 centimeters. So 4 times 6 centimeters equals 24 centimeters. Another way I like doing this is by same thing we did in problem number one, you could add all your sides. So six centimeters plus six centimeters plus six centimeters and plus six centimeters. Six centimeters plus six centimeters equals twelve centimeters. Six centimeters plus six centimeters equals twelve centimeters. So you add both of these up to get your final answer. Twelve plus twelve centimeters. Two plus two equals four. One plus one equals two. So your final answer will be twenty-four centimeters. Another shape that we are going to be talking about today is the rectangle. The formula of rectangle is P equals 2A plus 2B. For our first example, we have 5 as our length and 3 as our width. So, I like the way I like to solve the perimeter of rectangle is by rewriting the formula. going to be 3 inches and 5 inches. So 2, our 8 is going to be 5 inches. And our B is going to be 3 inches. So 2 times 5 inches equals 10 inches. Plus, 2 times 3 inches equals 6 inches. So, 10 inches plus 6 inches will equal 16 inches. Another way I like to solve it is you can add your sides as the same measurement. So, th the bottom will be the same measurement as this will, will be 5 inches. And our side will be the same in measurements as this, so 3 inches. 
So you can add all of them up 5 inches plus 3 inches plus 5 inches plus 3 inches. 5 plus 3 equals 8 inches. 5 plus 3 equals 8 inches. So your final answer will be 16 inches. Another example for the perimeter of rectangle we have 4 inches as our length and 2 inches as our width. So the same way we did the first problem, we add, we re, re write our formula. So P equals 2A plus 2B. So you could plug in the A, so this could be 2 times 4 inches. And our B is 2 inches, so 2 times 2 inches, 2 times 4 inches equals 8 inches, plus 2 times 2 equals 4 inches. So 8 plus 4 is 9, 10, 11, 12. So our answer is... 12 inches. Another way I like to do it is by adding all of them. So our bottom length will be the same measurement as this 4 inches, and our width would be 2 inches. So you add all these up 4 inches plus 2 inches plus 4 inches plus 2 inches 4 plus 2 inches equals 6 inches 4 inches plus 2 inches equals 6 inches so 6 plus 6 equals 12 inches another shape that we are going to be talking about is the triangle the formula of triangle is P equals A plus B plus C our first example for the triangle this side is going to be 3 centimeters, which is A. This is going to be B, which is going to be 4 centimeters. And this is going to be 8 centimeters. So the formula says to add all your sides. So A is going to be 3 centimeters. B is going to be 4 centimeters, and C is going to be 8 centimeters. So 4 plus 3 is 5, 6, 7. 7 centimeters. 8 plus 8 centimeters. So 8 plus 7 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 15 centimeters. Another example for a triangle. Right here we're going to have 5 centimeters, 4 centimeters, and 5 centimeters. We add all our sides together. So A is 5 centimeters, B is 4 centimeters, and C is 5 centimeters. So 5 plus 4 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 centimeters. 9 centimeters plus 5 centimeters equal 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 centimeters. So our final answer is 14 centimeters. Our last shape that we are going to be talking about today is the parallelogram. The formula, the formula of parallelogram is P equals 2A plus 2B. Our first example we have 
5 centimeters and 6 centimeters. The parallelogram is almost the same thing as the rectangle. So P equals 2A plus 2B. So our A is going to be 5 centimeters. So 2 times 5 centimeters plus 2 times 6 centimeters. 2 times 5 centimeters equals 10 centimeters. 2 times 6 centimeters equals 12 centimeters. So 10 centimeters plus 12 centimeters equals 10 plus 12. 2 plus 0 equals 2. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So our answer is going to be 22 centimeters. Another example we have our A is going to be 3 centimeters and our B is going to be 5 centimeters. P equals 2A plus 2B. So A is 3 centimeters, so we plug it in. 3 centimeters plus 2. B is going to be 5 centimeters. So, 2 times 3 centimeters equals 6 centimeters. 2 times 5 centimeters equals 10 centimeters. So, we add both of these to get our final answer. So, 10 plus 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, our final answer is going to be 16 centimeters. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.